My name is Jeff Arbogast, and I'm a Senior Support Specialist with Imagine It Technology Solutions Center. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a custom icon in AutoCAD. Inside of AutoCAD, you'll notice the, the ribbons and the, and the pull downs and the toolbars and so forth. And we're going to go into a command called CUI. This stands for Custom User Interface. Once we're in this command, you'll notice in the upper left hand corner, we're going to be under the Customize tab. We're going to be working in the main AutoCAD menu. We could put this in a partial menu or in its own menu, but we're just going to leave it in the main menu. And we're going to come down here and we're going to create a new command. When we create a new command, it brings up the new command icon or a tool, tool space so that we can work on it. And I've got this pre-written. Basically what we're going to do is a zoom extents. Notice the return is a semicolon. And then, so zoom, then E enter for extents, then zoom again, and then 0.9 so it backs off so we have a 10% area around the edge. I'll go ahead and copy this and come into the macro area and paste it in. And you'll see in the macro area that it's got a caret C, caret C. That's a cancel, cancel, so you're at a blank command line when you go into it. That's a really good idea, but some cases you may not want that, and you do have the ability to take it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a command name. I'm just going to call it Z10. And then we can go ahead and grab the help information which I've already placed down here, and that's just going to go under description. Go into the description, grab it. Now I could go out and I could browse for an icon, but it's going to want an image. Make, it, make life a little easier for you so you don't have to track images with your icons. You can just grab one of the pre-made ones from AutoCAD, and then you don't have to play around. Go ahead and apply it, adds it to the menu, now, I need to have a place to put it, and you're going to notice my commands right here. So, I need to create a new toolbar. I'm just going to select the toolbar, right-click, create new, and then I'm going to go ahead and give it its own name. And go ahead and just call this Cust. Now, we've got our new toolbar, and all we need to do is pick and hold down on the command and drag it up to the new toolbar. Notice the little arrow, and now our toolbar has a command on it. Okay. Now, I always like to come back to the command, and I like to set its display so that it's at the top. Makes life a little easier for finding it once you jump out. Now, when I go ahead and hit OK, you're going to notice this is going to completely rewrite the menu. See some things pop open. You can see my palette here. But I've got my command here. Notice when I highlight it, it's called Z10. And then you'll notice that the description zooms 10%. Got a line on my screen. Zooms extents, then backs off. Almost make it look like a heartbeat. I suggest you go ahead and try some other commands. Go into the command line, look at their sub options, and basically see how you would work with a command in the command line, and that'll make your life a lot easier when it comes to trying to create these. For more information about Autodesk authorized training and Autodesk products, please contact us at www.imaginit.com forward slash training or give us a call at 800-356-9050.